Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brianna and this is For Pause in a Book. I make book and lifestyle related content so if that's something that you're interested in, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are going to be doing an A to Z TBR. <music> seen a couple of people do this video before and I thought it was a really good idea so I thought I was gonna do it I'm gonna be doing this a little bit differently we'll call this June to May 2023 um, I really like these like mid-year type goals because here's the thing in December and January you have so much content to put out that things get lost so if we do these like mid-year things it works so essentially what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be picking 26 books, although I only have 24, so I could use your help with a couple of these. And the first word in every like title, we have A, B, C, D. That, that's how the alphabet works, okay? Um, I have also picked some anticipated releases, so I don't actually own all of these books. Um, so we'll just, you know, we'll read them when they come out. However, they're like highly anticipated releases, so there's no doubt that I won't read them. So here's what we're gonna do. Like I said, it's gonna it's going to go from June to May, and then next year, uh, around this time, I will talk about how I did. I'd like to also keep up with this on my monthly wrap ups when I do my stats. I'll also like kind of let you know how I'm doing. I really tried to like be very specific with this, um, so I didn't ever use like if it was a the something. That's a T. That didn't. That doesn't count as another letter. I cheated with that with two letters, V and J which are hard, you know, they're, they were, those are hard to find. Um, but other than that, like, the is a T. Um, same with like A, da da da, that would be A, it's not another letter. I'm probably not gonna go into very much detail about what these books are, just cause there's 26 of them, 24 actually. I don't have one for X or for Z. So we might have to get a little bit creative with those two. For A, we are going to be reading Amari and the Great Game by B.B. Alston. This is the sequel to Amari and the Night Brothers. It is a middle grade fantasy. I read Amari earlier this year at some point um, and really, really loved it. Gave it four and a half stars. And so I'm really excited about the sequel. It, the first book ended on a cliffhanger and I'm really excited for it. I actually have an arc. Um, so we might read it sooner rather than later, but I believe that the book comes out in August. So still have a couple of months. For B, this is one of my most anticipated releases of the entire year, and that is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. This is the sequel to Legendborn, which was one of my favorite books of last year. Um, I love the series. This is a gender bent retelling of like the King Arthur myth and lore. Uh, and again, ended on a cliffhanger, and I read it back in January 2021. So I might need to reread Legendborn, but uh, Bloodmarked is definitely one of my most anticipated reads of the whole year. For C, um, a lot of books are like the city of. I had a little bit of a struggle with this one, but then I remembered that Cassandra Clare writes city of everything. Uh, so I have lots of options to choose from. This is the next one that I uh, need to read. I was supposed to read it in April and I didn't. Uh, so this one, I guess, will probably be the second one. That, uh, the next one that I read starting in June. Um, maybe not like in June, but this is the next one. So we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> This is the second book in the Shadowhunters series. I think there's six of them. Um, and it's they're all like City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of whatever. Um, so this one works. And then you also have the Chain of series. So Chain of Gold, Chain of Thorns. Nope, that's a new one. Chain of Iron, Chain of Thorns. So I will eventually be reading all of them because I want to be caught up for the January 2023 release of Chain of Thorns. So I need to read all of the books. For D, I have Dead Silence by S.A. Barnes. This is a sci-fi horror about a ghost ship and a salvage crew. Seems very spooky, very scary. Um, I've heard some mixed things about it, but um, I, I remember seeing a thumbnail that Books and Lala might have just read it, so I need to watch that video and see what she thinks about it. I don't know. But this is something that definitely like seems up my alley. I'm having a lot more fun with horror books. Um, and then when you add sci-fi into that, that is that is just like my perfect recipe of a book. E was another one that was a little bit of a difficult pick, especially because I just read A Lots Away. And so that would have been like the obvious choice. 
So I'm actually going to be reading Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. Everyone's been talking about Peter Swanson in general um, because I think he just came out with a book that wasn't super great. However, everyone's like, it's not like Eight Perfect Murders. That one's so amazing. And so I figured I would just pick that one up. So it's a thriller. It's about this like guy who is like recreating old like murders, I think, like classic murders. Uh, so I don't know much about it, but it's a thriller. So I kind of want to go into a blind. For F, I have Fumbled by Alexa Martin. Maybe if I put this on 5 million TBRs, I will actually read it. Um, this is a football romance. This is one of the wide receivers, I believe, and this is a second chance romance. Like it was actually like a high school sweetheart and then she came back into his life. So sorry about the glare. This is a very shiny cover. Um, so yeah, this one will be fun. Uh, nice fluffy sports romance. For G, I am going to be reading Guarding Temptation by Talia Hibbert. This is another one of Talia's backlist books that I'm trying to read. Uh, my goal was actually to read all of her books last year. Did not do that. So we're going to try again this year. Uh, and this is a brother's best friend trope, which is kind of one of my favorites. Uh, you know, the little, the friend's little sister trope. Uh, and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, also one of the major, like the main characters is a political campaign manager, uh, which is always fun to read about. So, um, I, n other than that, don't know a lot about it, but it's Talia Hibbert, so I'm gonna love it. <laughs> For H, I have House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This is a YA horror, uh, and this was a gift from Rye over at Rye's Reading Corner, and uh, she's the one that keeps telling me I need to read this. I think she really, really loved it. Um, the cover is absolutely stunning. I don't know much about it, but again, it's a YA horror. It's super short, so I would kind of like to go into this blind. Um, so we're going with this one for H. For I, I am going to be reading Into the Midnight Void by Mara Fitzgerald. This was also on my Our Fantasy Bingo um, TBR. You'll probably see some like crossover just because I would like to actually succeed at doing things. <laughs> so there will be some crossover. This is a YA fantasy. They're very short books, which is really nice, um, but it is a blood magic system where uh, people will actually like sacrifice themselves uh, and then their blood is turned into water that th the community can use because they're in such a severe drought. Uh, so that's fascinating. <laughs> There's also a little bit of like this revolution. It's also queer. So I'm really excited about this one. Another queer political fantasy with a revolution. For J, we have The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. This is one of the two that I cheated a little bit and I put the before it because I can't think of another book that starts with J that I own um, or want to read. So we're going with this one. This is a super anticipated read of mine. It's been calling to me for a while. Uh, and this is about two girls who like couldn't be more different. We have a princess and a maidservant and they join together and uh, overthrow the patriarchy which we love. I'm also pretty sure that it's sapphic. It's one of the like three um, like big books on book talk that are sapphic fantasies, which is Prior of the Orange Tree, this one, and The Girl Who Became the Sun. So um, I'm hoping that we get some queer romance in here as well. For K, I will be reading Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. I know literally zero <laughs> about this book because it's not out yet. And I don't even think that there's much of a synopsis on Goodreads. But this is Allison's sophomore novel. She wrote The Charm Offensive, which was one of my favorite reads of last year. Absolutely loved it. And so I cannot wait to read this one. I don't, I'm acting like I have a cover for it. I don't know that there is one. For L, I have Light from Uncommon Stars by Rika Aoki. Uh, this I will actually be reading in June. This is the group read for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge. And this is a queer, hopeful sci-fi. It's definitely compared to Becky Chambers' work. Uh, and this is about a violin prodigy who makes a deal with the devil and has to basically like find violin prodigy souls to give to him in order to continue living. I've heard a lot of good things about this. Um, there's also transgender rep in here, which I'm really excited about. So that was one of the reasons why we wanted to pick it for June is there's a lot of queer rep in here. Um, so very excited about this one. For M, I have My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. You've seen this one a couple of times. This is on my Our Fantasy Bingo board. It's also going to be a group book for the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge later on in the fall. And this is a slasher horror I think it's like an homage to slasher films. And I think there's a lot of like classic slasher film tropes in here. Um, but other than that, I don't know, know a whole lot about it. 
So we'll see. I think it's October or November that we'll be reading this. For N, I will be reading Nemesis by Liza Penn. Uh, this is a book that I found on Kindle Unlimited, um, and it's actually... I actually found it on TikTok. Um, everyone was talking about it. And the dedication to this book says, for Marvel fans who want a little more spice. And it is an organized crime, paranormal romance. I don't know, don't know much about it. But as soon as I saw the dedication page, I was like, yes, I, I need this, I need this in my life. For O, I'm gonna be reading Ophelia After All by Raquel Marie. This is a queer YA contemporary, um, and it's just more of a, like a coming of age, trying to figure out who you are, your sexuality, that kind of stuff. I've heard so many good things about this and I don't know why I haven't picked it up yet, but now I have a chance to. For P, another book that I've had on so many TBRs and I really just need to get to, but it is so chunky and a little scary, but that's Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. This is a dark academia, um, paranormal kind of spooky vibes. It definitely gives me like the fall creepy vibes. I've got to read it this fall. I have to. <laughs> like if I don't, I'm going to unhaul it. But I've heard really mixed things about it, but it seems like it would be right up my alley. We'll see what happens. <laughs> But um, it's one of those ones that like I have to read this fall. It came out in October of 2020, and here we are in 2022, and I haven't read it yet. For Q, I actually found this one surprisingly easy. I have several like Queen of things, like you have Queen of Air and Darkness, stuff like that. Um, but I also have Queen Takes Rose by Katie Robert. Uh, this is part of the Wicked Villain series. This one I believe is the Queen of Hearts, if I remember correctly. Um, and it is the most recent one. So I have two more left. I have the Sea Witch and then this one. Um, so I'm hoping to read. They're very short books. I will read them very quickly. For R, I have Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Uh, this is the first in the Red Queen series. I'm supposed to be reading it this month, um, but I haven't started it yet. So we'll see if that actually happens. But Ryan and Marissa are doing a read along with like the whole series over the next couple of months. So maybe if I just binge a couple of them, I will be able to um, like, you know, get caught up. We'll see. This is a YA political fantasy. I don't know a whole lot about it. It's kind of one of those booktube darlings that came out several years ago uh, and I never got around to it. For S, I have another anticipated release, and that is Shipwrecked by Olivia Dade. This is next in the spoiler alert series. I don't know what the series is actually called, but it comes out in September, October. I will sell my soul for an arc of this book. So if publishers are watching, um, hi, hello. Again, one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Uh, so very excited about this one. And it just how it happened to fit. All right, for T, I decided to go with There Is No Devil by Sophie Lark. This is the second book in the There Are No Saints. Yep, that's it. this is the sequel to that. It's a duology. I'm trying to close out series. I felt like this was a good um, idea <laughs> to be able to do that. Um, I'm hesitant because a lot of people don't like this book that really liked the first one, and I really liked the first one. So we'll see. There are, there are indications that I actually will like it, uh, but I'm hesitant. I'm going in with low expectations. For you, this one generally would be a hard one. However, Blake Crouch is coming out with a new book and that is Upgrade. Uh, and I loved Dark Matter and I loved Recursion. So I don't really need to know much about this book to know that I will probably love it. This is another one that is on my R Fantasy bingo board um, about time manipulation because I feel like that's this is going to like deal with time, not time travel, but some sort of time manipulation if his previous two books are of any indication or any hint. Okay, for V, this is the other one that I cheated on, and so I have The Verifiers by Jane Peck. This is like a romantic thriller, and this is about someone who joins an online dating detective community. For W, I actually have quite a few, and we're going to go with Where Dreams Descend by Janelle Angelis. This is, is on my May TBR. I don't know that I will get to it in the three days left of uh, May that we have. Um, but this is a Moulin Rouge night circus type like vibe. Uh, so I'm really excited about this one, but it's been on my TBR for a really, really long time. But I own the, both of them in the duology and I haven't started this one yet. So this does need to happen sooner rather than later. All right. And then, like I said, I don't have an X. So if you have one, I might have to do like, just like there is an X in the title somewhere. Not necessarily that it starts with it. We'll have to see. And then for Y, I have Year of the Reaper 
by Micaiah Lucier. Uh, this was recommended to me by Cal over at Retrieving Books, and I believe this is the Fairy Loot Edition, if I remember correctly. I got it on Pango Books, but it's really pretty. It's got the, um, the sprayed edges. It's gorgeous. I know very little about this book. However, it was one of those books that Cal was just like, please read this so that I can talk to someone about it because no one's really talking about this book. Um, so it seems really short. And while the main characters are not queer, uh, there is a queer character in here as well. So maybe Pride Month, we'll see. Okay, and then I don't have a book for Z. So if you have any recommendations, please let me know. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any thoughts or opinions on any of these books. And if you're not feeling chatty, you can do like a, keyboard or a typewriter emoji you know there are letters on those <laughs> that is all i have for you today if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed there's a little red button that you can do so down below the video and all the other links to my social media will be in the description below if you would like to be my friend on any other platform thank you all for watching and i will see you next time